<coughs> Hi guys, well my name is Vivek and I would like to tell you some of the basic key components on the VMware environment. Right. Most of the times you face many problems on the troubleshootings and you never know what exactly happened to the host level and the vCenter level. So you go to the events and uh, alerts and you find some of the topics which, which you never know what exactly happened. So I'll tell you there's a two comp key components here. Uh, they are the services and the and you can say it, they are the agent. So let's start with the ESXi uh, server level. So there's a key, there's a two key components. The first one is HostD. HostD is an agent. So HostD which allows ESXi host to connect vCenter server. So let's say um, your uh, vCenter server uh, is not communicating to ESXi host. So what happens here? You have to take a putty. Uh, session and uh, put the IP address of the ESXi host into the PuTTY and uh, take access but make sure you have to open the SSH so you can enter into the host uh, so you need to enter uh, uh, one uh, a command line so whenever you face any problem that let's say you open a v, uh, vCenter environment and you find that your ESXi host is uh, read out or it's not connected right so in the background your virtual machines are running everything is all running but it, if it is not connected to the VMware environment like vCenter environment you know, most of the policies and the services or some other uh, security levels are not uh, communicating to the vCenter uh, environment so what exactly you required here open the party session I put the IP address of the uh, host and uh, enter it uh, and then you need to type a command uh, services mgmt uh, hyphen vmware restart so what this services does uh, it just uh, restart your management services and make your ESXi host live into the vCenter environment so make sure you have to uh, check this first before doing any troubleshooting things then you can go and check your network connectivity and some other stuffs First, make sure this command need to be run before uh, doing any activity on the vCenter server or ESXi host. Right, and the other key component that I would like to explain on this uh, VPXA. VPXA is also an agent on uh, designed on the VMware environment. So VPXA is a vCenter uh, agent uh, which allows to connect the ESXi host. Right, so it's uh, let's say it, these two components are not running on the on the host level or somehow it is not connected or somehow the service uh, agents are not running properly so you have to make it alive so there is a command for the vpxa vpxa need to be run like a uh, open and free session again and same the, the way which i have told you uh, while uh, putting a uh, uh, running a command just like host the services you need to type the same uh, not the same command the new command that is called vmware hyphen vpxa services just enter it and it will uh, restart the services and your recent your ESX server will connect to the vcenter environment so uh, a part of that if the service is not uh, connecting or is not reflecting there so what exactly you required here you have to check the logs there's a four type for uh, two types of logs basically you have checked the first uh, you can uh, go to the go to the exi host level and uh, the command the command uh, for the uh, checking the host logs uh, what you require here is a, it's a exi host agent logs if you want to check uh, what logs are happening how this uh, uh, this connection happened and why it is not connecting and what happened what the time so you check everything there's a command called uh, um, Open the command putty, uh, putty and check, put the command slash var uh, slash log and slash host d dot log. You will find all the timestamp there. You can see warnings and events and alerts. What happened to the host level and how the exi exi wasn't able to connect to the web environment or vCenter. Also, for the vCenter agent is not uh, communicating. You can not if you have restarted the VPXA services, if uh, there is nothing happened to the 
host level or the vCenter level what exactly you require you need to type a, a same command for the vCenter uh, to check a uh, vCenter uh, agent uh, logs yeah, there is uh, there is a same command uh, called vpxa uh, not sorry uh, slash var slash log slash vpxa dot log also if you would like to check other services other other log files there's a shell logs that is slash var slash log vpxa dot log that is a uh, log files which you can check it and there is also authentication uh, log file where you can check if somebody is uh, trying to get log into the vcenter or vmware vcenter environment or some other how uh, he wanted to enter into the ESXi host there's a log generate whenever any user enter into the into the uh, server level they have uh, their user credentials so you have you can check how many people they have logged into the server 